Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number one of my new Far Gone series. This is a series I've been waiting to do for quite a long time. I was waiting for the brand new update and then I've waited for a hot fix to that update and now we're here. So, learning the ropes, you arrive at Runner's Village, the home to all newcomers in the Barrens. Days of traveling have left you low on supplies and credits. Nearby, you hear two runners discussing a man named Sal having some jobs available. You should speak to Sal on the bus at the end of the village to learn about opportunities within the Barrens, and it will give me a coffee. Okay, so we got a pistol. Tab puts my stuff away, eyes inventory. This has definitely changed quite a bit. Total gear weight will affect your movement speed. Heavier gear will slow you down. This is... And we got skills that we can learn. Yeah, nah, this is much better. Good job, Red Dot. Um, oh, it spawned me facing away from the village. I was like, doesn't it? Shouldn't the village be right here? Wow, this looks way different now. Holy shit. This is definitely more stalker aesthetically. Wow, okay. All right, let's see. I want to talk to you first. This is Enver. Could always use more good people around like you. Hang on. I actually should talk to Sal first. Um, is my, what's my FOV and all this stuff at? 80. View distance, we're going to bump up a little bit. Why not? See if there's anything else. Okay. It's cool with me. Right. Sal. Hmm, not sure I've seen you around here before. I'm Sal. Uh, tell me about yourself. Why, do you like wasting time instead of killing things to make money? What can you tell me about the factions? Well, there are four factions in the Barrens, or the main ones. The Runners, Military, Hollowed, and Liberty. The Runners are appropriately named. Most choose not to join a faction and stick mainly to themselves, but will occasionally help aside for the right price. The military sound impressive in their gear is, however, they aren't the unified army from before. They are a small group of soldiers who have bound together in an effort to restore peace, as they call it. I wouldn't trust them. Then the hollowed. Your typical opportunists will do whatever to whoever in order to survive and thrive. But can't say I blame them for wanting to make a quick buck, but still I would avoid them unless you want an early trip to the beyond. Finally, of the big four, there is Liberty. They are hard, they are a hard bunch to read. They believe everything that happened was caused by something supernatural, not just the nuclear meltdown over at Hope's plant. They are very well armed and organized, but can be reasoned with. So up to you on how you approach them. There are many other smaller factions, such as the scientists, but they keep to themselves mostly. Right. Um, I hear you run things around here. Run things? Ha! Not at all. But when you are the guy who holds all the guns, people tend to listen to you. Listen, I'm not sure what you were doing out here, but let me give you some advice. Make some friends and get yourself a nice camp set up. I may not like anyone, but people like me, and that sure helps when the dead come knocking. Tell you what, talk to me again if you want a job to do, and I'll give you a camping part to help you get started. On oh, here, have a coffee on the house. Welcome to the Barrens. Yep, you said you had a job? Hmm, seems could be good timing. As a matter of fact, we do have a slight situation that you could help with. Over by the entrance next to the house on the left is an en is a Enver. He is a famous runner of sorts. It should just say here, left is Enver. He's a famous runner of sorts, the closest they have to a leader. He's currently having trouble with some missing runners. Go talk to him and see what he needs. Come back to me when the job is done and we can talk payment. A portable storage box. That's... Yeah, I remember those. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So now we go over to you, and then we get a quest complete for doing that, instead of talking to you first. You looking to get in with the runners? I'm here about the missing runners. Ah, yeah, glad Sal found someone to help. I could go myself, but with the infected getting closer every day, I'm needed here. We got a tip of some supplies out at a compound north of here. Sent had a group of runners to check it out. This should have been a quick scouting mission, but they haven't been back for days. These runners are greener than grass. It was supposed to be an easy job, so I have no idea, or so I have no doubt the rookies have got caught up in some trouble. This won't be an easy job, Ben. It's an undead heavy in that area, so it takes some time to prepare and gear up if you need. You head up to the, the compound and see if you can find out what happened and help out. You'll earn my thanks and trust. Good luck. 
Need help with anything? Mm, yeah, I suppose you'll do. I need a package run down to my brother. He runs a farm down in the grassland. It's usually a pretty quiet area, but lately he's been having some issues with bandits, so make sure you're careful. My brother will compensate you for the work when you get there. Right, so we got... We got a fair few rounds of ammunition. Wow, this is... Yeah, this is... Holy shit. Good job, Red. Do you need something? I'd like to get somewhere quickly. I can do that from a price. Mark on the map where you want to go. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. This is... Yeah, okay. Alright, so 450 credits if I want to get taken somewhere by him. Interesting. Okay, so let's go... Actually... We didn't ever look at his store, did we? Never checked to see what Sal was actually selling. I'm looking for supplies. Let's have a look. Holy shit. Data pad. Hmm. Let's have a look. So we're going from here down to here. And the other one's up there. Wow. Alright. Cool. Very, very good. So, I do want to mention as well, Red has contacted me. I haven't gotten back to him, which I feel bad about. I will get back to him. Um, about some giveaway keys potentially for Far Gone. I don't know what I would do for that. That's the only thing. I'm not really sure what requirements I would want for people. So that's something that I, that would be something I'd have to think about. Maybe we'll stream it or something at some point. Maybe just give them away randomly. I don't know. We could do something like that. It'll have to. I'll I'll talk to Red Red Dot about it. All right. So far, no bandits. Got some undead on the road ahead. Be careful out there. We'll do our best to clear them out. From Nikolai the Runner. I love those pop-ups and shit like in Stalker. That's so good. Oh, yep. Yep, they are on the road. Oh, shit. It's getting intense. My god. Okay, it seems like they they go down in one shot most of the time now as well, which is good. You can one tap them in the head, which is how I think they should be. What the hell was... What is that? Just lighting effect in the distance or something sus going on weird? Something sketchy. Something scary. I'm turn just down the sound a little bit because the thunder... Thunder's a little loud in my ears. Alright, we're almost at the farm. It doesn't look like there's any bandits over here. Wow, this this is different. I can't yeah. Mm, yeah, I think it's definitely different. Got him. Couple heads. Is there a take all button? Probably should look. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be having so much problems with bandits as he does with just random infected. To be honest. Some cigarettes. What do we got in here? Anything in here? Those ones walking so slow. Oh, oh shit. A 
paikka ja... So I feel like the weather doesn't drain out the sound for them and I feel like it should. Like, this is pretty loud. They shouldn't hear my pistol shots as easily. Sorry. I don't know whether I paused in time or not for that sneeze. I tried. Alright, where are you, sir? Yeah, this is definitely different. Partly because it's not even the farm, but I don't remember there being this much stuff before the farm. Scout gloves. Very lightweight gear that is often used by runners. Oh. That's better than no gloves. Drinking food. It's a bit hard to see because the rain comes into the buildings. Can I not pick that up? Is there vicinity? Mm, doesn't look like it. Thought I'd check. Uh, nope, nope. Ah. Yes. Splints. That's good. We're not with any broken bones or anything. We've got at least something. We can help ourselves with. I think it's worth looting through here because we could find stuff to sell even, which will want the credits to buy some decent stuff at some point, I'm sure. A beanie. I am looking sick. Holy shit. Are they all the same? Why is there so many ghillie pants, bro? They also look amazing. Scrappy pants, ghillie pants. Might just stop you from dying from the cold air. Multi-tool is required to disassemble. Alright. I should grab them, actually, and just sell them, right? No reason not to. Thirty-six ninety. Oh, hang on. I'm going to put the 99% ones on. There we go. I put on the 36% ones. So you want to make... Oh, shit. You want to make sure you check the uh, durability before you put items on. Especially if you've got multiples. Look for the one with the best durability, I guess. Protein bars and stuff. Because a whole... Uh, quite a few different things are lootable that weren't before. So I'm trying to suss out what is actually lootable and what's not. As I go along as well. Barrels. Another coffee. Baseball cap. Oh, nine mil rounds. What is that? Canned fish. Rebreather. That's not able to be picked up. Oh, that is. That's scrap. Canned vegetables, fizzy drink. Anything else in here that's... Oh, yep. Cloth scrap. Sneaky. Sneaky red. Hide and shit, mate. Alright. Okay, let's just head to the farm and actually get this quest progressed. We could probably loot all day, really, but... I think we actually grabbed some okay stuff. I'm really glad that now it seems to be like a one tap to the head of the infected. It seems to work. Um, way better, to be honest. So, where are you, sir? Hello, why are you back here, bro? You weirdo. You're so weird, Harva. He's such a weird man. Good day. Better not be looking to start trouble on my farm, outsider. You seem on edge. That obvious? Been having issues with bandits lately, raiding the farm at night. Makes it hard to relax around here anymore. They even took my sons for ransom. 
Now I won't lie, they aren't exactly worth much, but they are my blood, and I could use the extra pair of hands for what good they are. Listen, you look like someone who isn't afraid of a little firefight. You managed to take care of them bandits, and I greatly appreciate it. Ate it. Maybe even save my two idiot sons, too. Um, me to search for some nearby bandits, clear them out. I got a hat, some meat, and some shoddy rounds, and some XP. Um, I also have a package for you. Ah, perfect. I assume he didn't tell you exactly what you were carrying, right? This package is filled with explosives that I plan on planting around the farm for when the bandits next show up. I guess you were lucky you didn't drop it on the way here. Anyway, thanks for delivering it. Here is a little something for you. Hell yeah. How we don't wait wise are we fine? You got anything I can steal, bro? Ooh, what do you got here? You had a bit of scrap just floating there. Okay, so you can sleep. Well, save the game anyway, I guess. It's not a bad thing necessarily. Uh, barrels. Barrels contain items that I will want. It is getting dark. I guess I could sleep while we're over here, though. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea, I don't think, to try and have a snooze. I see the military have upped their patrols in the plains. Dead people and mutants are literally dot dot dot. Uh-oh. Yeah, holy shit. You hoarding in here, brother? You hoarding stuff? What the fuck? Can I just take his shit? Like that? He's just got a freaking vector, bro. Hell yeah. Look at that. Balaclava. Single hole. And then we got this bad boy now. Hell yes, we do. Um, hey you. Do you have anything for sale? You do. Okay, which means you'll buy shit. Um, so... You can buy them, you can buy them. You can buy them. This... Uh... Yeah, Lou. Yeah, okay, so that's warning me that the helmet's not very good. Man, it's very dark. The only thing... You got crops I can take? Or can you just look at them? Little fog's rolling in. It's getting creepy. Let's put his chair on top of his shit. Oh. Thank you. So, the bandits... ...are over towards the day's end bar. Which is... I don't know which way we're actually facing. Oh. Probably not tracking. There we go. This way. I think. Yep. This is to the east. Creepy, bro. <laughs> so creepy. So they're all the way over there. Can I sleep long enough to skip the night? Alright, we're gonna sleep till late. I'll need to eat and drink when I wake up, I'm sure, but... Wow, it actually... I, I saw the compass moved. A toxic storm passed while you were sleeping. Ooh. Yeah, I like it. Very stalker-esque. Oh, that's so much better. That inventory being all little tiny cubes so we can just kind of snap thing. Yes. Skills. I have no skills yet. 
I am a loser. Okay, mm seems like still the same stuff relatively. Uh, let's have... What do we want to eat? Canned tomatoes, I guess. And then... Let's go. We are heading over. Yeah, so, so far, major improvements with this update. I actually really like it. Definitely feels more stalker vibe, which I know is what Red wants. Um, that stalkery type of vibe, and that's definitely being hit a lot more upon in those buildings, for sure. Really, really cool. Um, obviously the models need a little bit of work. I can see the gloves clip straight through. Do that when I have this gun out? No, it's the pistol. Because it's the way the wrists are bent, it seems to clip out. Okay. So we could also stop at the day's end bar on our way there, even as we wanted to as well. Whoa! This is so much different. Used to be just like a building with some barbed wire and shit. This is like an industrial estate now. What the hell? Who's running over here? Who's hanging out over here? Military? Hi. Hi, do you need something? Corporal Mason Frazier. By any rumours, I heard there is a lone police officer that roams around going from town to town. Never causes any harm, but seems suspicious. Right. Oh, so this isn't even the bar. No, the bar's over there. This is... Oh, yeah, okay. No, I do remember this military compound, but it definitely doesn't look the same as it used to. That looks much better. Now the bar's over here still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just not running far enough. I keep thinking I'm freaking there, and I'm not. Almost there, though. Stamina, I don't know whether it lasts longer or whether it's just because I'm not, like, injured and worn out or anything that I'm able to run for so long, but it's good. Catcher, what can I get you, stranger? What's your story? Hmm, most people usually know who I am, but all right, I'm Catcher. Used to run with the hollowed. Still friendly with them, but before you run off scared, I cut ties working with them. Just serve the occasional drink now. In fact, they stop by here from time to time, so keep an eye out. I'll give you this warning only, though. I don't particularly care who shoots who. I'm looking for work. Actually, I do have a sort of thing going on. Listen, you know those husks, the green glowy guys that kill most people who get close? Well, I need you to get close to them. A bunch, actually. A group of them have stumbled into my lumber camp. For whatever reason, haven't left. Also, could you look for my lumberjack while you're out there? Pretty sure he ran off. Beautiful. That is on the way... It's over in that same area. What are you selling? A backpack. Hmm. That could end up being quite useful. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, we've got the vector we can use. So I'm not super worried about not having a gun for the bandits. Otherwise, I would have purchased that hunting rifle. Would have brought the hunting rifle otherwise. Okay, let's go kill them bandits. Let's get them. We've got a vector. I think that should be fine. And a pistol. Um, I don't know what type of armor they'll have on their heads or anything like that, but I think we'll be fine. And then the husk, I think, is just up here. Yeah, it's out. just out on this side. So. I think we run faster with our pistol out, so I'll have the pistol out. Ah, uh, we got trouble ahead, squad. Runner members spotted. What, me? You talking about me? Because, yeah, you spotted me. You chatted to me, you dickhead. Me in the back of the truck now. Nothing in there. Splint. Protein bar and stuff. More scrap. Alright.
right farm raiders objective update kill the raiders or kill the bandits they're just over here i can see them in the distance the problem is what about his kids Man, they're in a bit of a shit spot. I'm not gonna lie to you. They're not in a convenient spot to get to, but... Make our way over there, try and sneak up on them. Spot an enemy of the whole lot up ahead. Oh, shit. Oh shit. I think there's one more. Got him. Look at that bandit patch. Uh, we need do this. Beautiful, get ourselves healed up. Another bandit patch. Oh, I'm actually so glad this is so stalkerish. It's Yeah. We got a backpack. It's a big backpack. It has seven carry capacity. Yes. Dude, the gunplay feels different. The recoil's high. Um, so you don't want to be full auto. And you kind of want to just... And let it... Hopefully, hopefully they hit. Feels way better. Pistol as well. Doesn't look like his doofus kids are with him. Except for the fact his doofus kids might have joined him. That might be the scenario. What it's looking like anyway. Alright. Anything else around here that we can loot? Liz. Fucking didn't have much. Ooh. A basic set of gear used by just about anyone who wants to protect themselves from bullets on the cheap. Uses very cheap materials. Blocks helmets. So I won't... Yeah, okay. So I can't have the beanie on. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So, there is this one over here too, where it wants me to kill some husks. So we should be able to do that, no problem. We're a little bit encumbered because we've got armor on us as well. We've got that scrappy armor set on us. Alright. Does the clipping... So it just seems to be the way the gloves join. Makes it clip. Nothing in that. I was like, ooh, is that something? No. Mm, we've got the arena over there as well. Um, We won't do that yet. I'll wait till... I'll wait till... Mm, yeah... New objective. Clear out the husks. Easy with this. No worries. Got him. I saw a runner member taking on some undead nearby. 
Goddamn right I was. What the shit? for evidence of the lumberjack. Anything good on you? Gotta check your soul. Grab all your stuff, because I'll probably sell 90% of your, the things I pick up off you. About 65,000 arms. A wooden log. Hooray for me. <laughs> what do we got? Okay, so this is also different. This looks more like a sophisticated setup. Oh. So this job sucks. Just cutting wood for catcher all day, every day. I, however, have a genius plan to solve this problem. Those mutant zombies are drawn to pretty much any toxic waste they can find. So I'm going to accidentally spill a truckload. Then when they arrive, I'll retreat to my nearby hut and put my feet up. Catcher will think I'm just trying to save my skin. Oh, you've been figured out, dickhead, haven't you? That was very smart to write it down and leave it. Genius, one would say. Um, out of curiosity, what is this up here? Also, I need a drink. I'll have another one of them. Is this the oh shit? Well, my relationship with the Hallowed isn't going to be very good. Considering I'm killing him at their goddamn camp. Oh, I can't stand on it. Give me all your stuff. Give me all your shit. Spread your shit. He's shooting. We so encumbered. They have some good shit. <gasps> I was wondering where you were. Gilly. Gilly hand. Were you named? Doesn't tell. It did, didn't read it when um, I was shooting at him. I didn't have a chance. I did see it looked different though. Scout gear. Mainly base being lightweight. Pistol. This. Gilly gloves on. Makeshift silence, so I put a red dot on it. Oh my god, it just they just detached. This is so good. Oh my god. Yes. I love it. Oh, it's so fucking good though. Oh, we got some gear on that's not the greatest um condition wise, but that's fine. We're gonna make our way back to catcher now. Who is this one? Hmm. I gotta find the missing lumberjack. Fuck's sake. I know where he is. He's in that freaking cave over here. 
So like I've played if you if you never saw my original Far Gone series, I probably I did about eight or nine episodes or so on it, I think. So I went through some of the early quest stuff, but obviously with the new update, the way it's been done, I wanted to restart. New character, everything from scratch. And actually, you know, take it all in. This is very dark out here. Wish I had some night vision on. Alright, so... Actually, it's not there. It's over here. Yeah, that's all. That's a different thing. Maybe. I don't know. I do remember we have to go in there at some point. Well, this is creepy as fuck. We got good vibes. Very stalker vibes like this. Holy shit. Hey, buddy. This man seems passed out. Rather dangerous to get this drunk out in the open. This must be Catcher's Lumberjack. Hmm. He's risking it. I don't, I don't know whether I'd feel comfortable being out here with, like, mutants and or infected and random things running around. I don't know whether I'd want to hang out here particularly. For any reason, really. I'd want to be, like, sheltered as much as possible. That's, like, a little pitch tent is not sheltered. So... I do notice that from distances, lighting really pops. Like, you can see how easily I can see where the Day's End bar is from here. It kind of just glows in the distance, more or less. We need some food in us. Yeah, let's pop a drink. Sweet. Honestly thought it would end up giving us cans back, to be honest. And then you'd use cans for, I don't know, makeshift silences or something. But I guess things have changed where, like, we can find this shit now. So. It's probably not necessary. I have to look at what we can actually make on those benches. We haven't gotten to that point yet, so. It's all a learning process. I've, um, I read all the patch notes when the update first came out and, and the subsequent ones but then since then I've tried to kind of forget anything I read because I want to you know play it as to play it right so all right catcher I have something for you your lumberjack's a lazy piece of shit and he's thinks he's smart I sorted the problem at your camp show log let's see what you got there I see. So the guy I pay, paid spilt toxic waste all over my product in an attempt to drill the house in just for an excuse to run off and drink. I think I'll handle this personally. Good luck out there. Here, take these. Uh, What do you got for sale? Because I need to sell some shit. Man, that is... Worth a bit of coin. Contractor's boots. Hallowed mask. Somehow this has been modified with the Kevlar lining. Make it unusually protective. Uh, PM1 will sell. Patches we're going to keep. There's a guy who likes patches near the camp. Near our, like, the village. If my memory serves me correctly, I assume he's still there. Um, double barrel. Might keep the pistol. Uh... 
Um... There we go. I'm pretty happy with those trades. I wanted more, um, I just thought I'd buy just all the pistol ammo I could, and the Vector uses the same ammo, so... Isn't that just a freaking bonus, dude? Um... Actually, we need the backup because we need missions. We need to return to Hevlar first gonna say I don't want to um I'm not going back to the village yet are we I oh, know the village is up there no this is right am I crazy for wanting to try something I just want to have a look how many military are standing at the front right here none it just looks like this guy is guarding it, right? So, in theory, if I shoot him, no one should know I'm using a silence pistol at night. Oh. You kind of put yourself more in the middle. He does seem to only move when I point a pistol at him, which is interesting. So in theory, no one should know I've done that. I should be able to just walk away. Ah, oh, I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just literally murdered a man military man and I don't think they had any idea I don't know whether it dropped my rating by proxy I hope the rating only goes down if it is either radioed in or something like it needs to be told I don't think if I kill that man in the middle of the night when everyone else is asleep the silence pistol if no one saw it no one should know who it is and I should get no rep loss so I don't know whether it's the case or not but um, if it's not, it should be. I should actually, can I check? Um, it's in this, isn't it? Stats, maybe? I think it did go down. It did. Yeah, okay, nah, I don't like that. It shouldn't have gone down, because they didn't know I even did it. That's, that's my opinion. I don't know whether that's something like, um, that's planned or what. I have to, I actually may message Red about it and ask him because, yeah, I think that, that should definitely, is that not the one I also just shot? <laughs> Private no appears. Did I not just shoot him in the face? Dude, you just out in the rain? I took care of the bandits and your son should be heading back. Ha, ah, I heard the gunshots from here. That'll show the bastards. Good work, friend. Take these for your travels and come back anytime. Well, you see, I have some things I wanted to sell. You can have the ranch hat. You can have, actually. Hang on, what's the condition of ours? Oh, yeah, you can have that. Can I... There we go. You can have that. Um... Them. That. Okay. Cool. I probably could have gotten more from somebody else, but I'm not super fussed about it. There's a couple bandits right here, I think, potentially. Bandits are up. Oh, they're runners. Okay, we're cool. Hello. 
Goodbye, Nikolai. I saw him talking on the radio. Look in the chat thing. PDA. The data log, or data pad, whatever it's called in this. Uh, Alright. Also looking, there's an action belt as well, which is pretty cool. I should... Put, yeah, the pills down there so I can heal. And when I find more kinds of meds, I'll put different kinds of meds down there. Maybe a thing of food or something, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So we're going to head back to the runner village. We'll hand in this quest. And I want to check the bandit patch man. Or the patch man who should just be to our right around this bend. From the village. And he should give us some credits and stuff for giving him the pa the patches. So I don't know whether the global illumination's working the way red wants it to. It's making everything very saturated and high tone coloured. Um when it's reflected but when you get near it it loses its color once you face away from it it goes from green to white i'm not sure whether that's the intent i don't know just thought i'd point it out in case red watches this video and he can uh he can have a look and see what he thinks all right so this is the guy who i believe is the credit mastermind Hello, sir. Mind if I point my flashlight in your eyeballs? Need help making a friend or a new enemy? I've got so I've got some factions to or some patches to hand in. Alright, let me get those for you. I got runner reputation increased by three and military reputation increased by 1.6. I don't know what my my actual amount was before I shot that guy, but I really will be annoyed if it went down. <laughs> um, uh, did we have any... We've got to just locate the compound. We're not going to do that right now because that's all the way out there. That is definitely for the next episode. So anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, Remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Far Gone in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace.